welcome to Share Truth Apply Scripture. Uh, Cedra? Hi. Hey, this is Wesley. And a lot of people are going to be like, wait a minute. Where's Jordan? Where's well, Jordan? We, we didn't ki- let him come this time. No, we didn't let him come. We <laughs> kicked him. He's been he's kicked me out many a times before. No, I'm just kidding. He hasn't kicked <laughs> me out. I've been I I travel a good bit and I have a handful of other responsibilities they face. So I have uh, missed uh, at times, and he's filled in for me. We've had Chris on before and others. So uh, today's my turn to fill in for Jordan. So I'm grateful for it. And we've got a great program set up for y'all today. And y'all are going to get a sneak peek. Y'all are going to get the first bit of information that we're of something we're going to do next week that we're going to get to in a little bit but before we do uh we have a guest in the studio jim stanley hey wesley then cedra thank y'all for having me do you realize i'm going to go ahead and bust you out on national okay. radio <laughs> this is the first time i've been on y'all's program oh, oh no way no. since the inception <laughs> face is turning red I'm, I'm 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 squirming over here like oh my goodness this is embarrassing and, turn and i'm guessing it's going to be the last time <laughs> <laughs> no it won't we'll have to we we've we've to tried to do a good job we made some a, a, a little bit of changes over the new years and wanted to have a couple more guests on and on uh, our Engage Radio program, Share Truth, Apply Scripture. So hopefully between you, Chris, and a few others, we'll we'll have you back on again. Well, now, in fairness to you guys, yeah, sure. you're reaching out to a younger generation. Yes, yes, And yes. I'm one of the oldest generations here at AFA. That's my excuse. <laughs> That's my excuse. That's right. Well, um, for those that are listening, we also have a magazine. We have social media and a handful of other ways that you can connect. As Jim mentioned, uh, our efforts in Engage Magazine is to reach young adults, college students, high school students, and those who are in the age range, you know, of millennials. But at the same time, we have plenty of uh, teachers. We have uh, truck drivers, those who are parents who are interested Mm -hmm. and want to know more about the way millennials think, young adults think, and what the, some of the things they're going through. That way they can um, they can minister to them better. So we have a lot of youth pastors that yeah. also follow what we do. But go to engagemagazine.net, check us out there. Uh, we also offer a free magazine. You put your uh, email information in there and we'll mail it to you. Yep. Uh, completely free work. And they yeah, to- engagemagazine.net. You click the little tab at the top that says magazine, real simple, and you put in your information and we'll get that magazine out to you. Yes, we made it that easy. <laughs> It is that easy. And they're not so, going to send you a bill with it either. Nope, nope. No bill. It's completely free. So, uh, all right. Well, let's get to the program today. Uh, Jim Stanley's on. Uh, Jim, tell them a little bit. Tell our audience a little bit. They'll recognize your voice from filling in on Exploring the Word. and right. uh, during Trivia Friday. Trivia and, Friday, share time. But what is it that you do day-to-day here at AFA? And then we'll get into why you're in here. Well, I'm currently responsible for the partnerships. And, and by that, what we talk about are the ministries that we that you hear and uh, on AFR. And so some of those include Turning Point with David Jeremiah, you know, Dr. James Dobson's Family Talk and some of those type programs. I'm responsible for being in touch with those ministries day in and day out and making sure that they're happy with us and that we're happy with them and and stuff like that. Now, the other thing I do is we also have some underwriting partners. Now, we are a listener-supported broadcast ministry of the American Family Association, but we do have some partners who want to come on board and, and partner in ministry with mm-hmm. us. And some of those we call underwriters. Okay. And so that will be folks like Preborn and then our friends from Trinity. Uh, and All then, these are going to be familiar to our listeners. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, that's good. Um, well, so with that said, what you've seen is that it is a very, very important to raise money so that we can continue to do the work that we do. Is that correct? That is absolutely <laughs> right. And next week is one of those times we take we – Tick. We take <laughs> six days out of the year, three in the spring, three in the fall. And so next Wait, Tuesday. Wait, was it 60 days you said? Six. Six? Six. Yeah, okay. just six. Just want to make 60. that point. Okay. Unlike, well, we won't talk <laughs> yeah. about other networks. <laughs> well, there are a lot of networks that uh, their strategy, for whatever reason, is uh, many, 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 many days mm-hmm. of fundraising. It's almost perpetual uh, fundraising. Almost perpetual fundraising. But for us, it's six days total. Total. Three in the year. spring, three in the fall. I, know I, I, you know, I know I sound like I'm bragging, and I am. But that that is something to be proud of that we have stewarded our finances mm-hmm. in a way that and, and and we've elevated our mission in such a way that we only have to do it. and of course because of our listeners we only have to do share yeah. on six of days. Of course, later. that's not the only days that you can give, but those are right. the only times no. you're going to hear us right. actively asking. And I mean, even at the end of the year, you'll hear some end of the year spots. Mm-hmm. But as far as taking 
you know, basically the broadcast day Mm -hmm. and setting it aside for fundraising. Those are the times that we do it for ourselves. Now, every now and then we'll take a day and do it for someone else. And that's the foundation that God has given us. And it goes all the way back to what, you know, Brother Don taught us. Um, And you guys grew up with that, of course. But um, it was one of the things, and and so I want to, if you don't mind real quick, I want to share a couple of principles. Please do, yeah. All right. First of all, one of the things that Brother Don, Tim, and you guys now continue to talk about, we don't want anyone to go into debt to help AFA. Yeah. We want you to be as debt-free as you can. Mm. And so if you give by credit card, we're going to ask you not to do that unless you can pay it off each month. Sure. You know, you may be one of the monthly partners for $30 a month. Yeah. Don't go into debt to do that. Sure. We don't want you paying interest. Yeah. All right. And then the other thing, so we want you to support your local church first. Mm-hmm. We're not here to take time from Papa the church. Saying that. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, the other thing that he and <laughs> he's so funny when he would say this because I can just remember him. He goes, you know, if we were making an appeal or something, he'd, don't beg him for money. Yeah, yeah. You, you know, go. present the case. Tell him what it is. Yeah. Tell him what you're doing. Absolutely. Tell him why. And then, you know, God and so the we, rest. Yeah, yeah exactly. And by the way. The um, theme for this spring share is confident hope, and we get that from the scripture in Romans fifteen thirteen. I pray that God, the source of hope, will fill you completely with joy and peace because you trust him. Then you will overflow with confident hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. Now, please note, none of that scripture mm. made it dependent upon giving a share gift are sharing monetarily with American Family Radio. Mm-hmm. Yeah, good point. What we're teaching there, and, and it goes along with your program here, mm-hmm. what we're teaching there is that if you know Christ and you know him as Savior, then you can be filled with the confident hope because of your joy and peace because you trust in Christ. Amen. And the Holy Spirit's the one that brings that confident hope. Amen. And, we're, and what are some ways that our listeners uh, can give for our share this year. All right, well, we'll be giving the phone number next week when the okay. phone lines are active. But between now and then, the website will, in fact, already be should be sh- yeah. should be on yeah. for Sherathon, and so they can go to afr.net and they can contribute online that way. And then uh, next week. We'll be giving the phone number. I'm sure. trying to pull it to mind right now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I, 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 what, what I'm we'll falling do is, short. That's fine. What we'll do is we'll link it in the description below. We'll have a place oh, where we can do that. And we'll also include, I'm looking at Cedra. Y'all can't see this who is right. listening. I'm looking at Cedra. Could I say I, but what I really mean is Cedra. Right. See, Cedra, Cedra is the do-it-all for Engage. She's behind the scenes for Engage, and she gets everything done. So anything you see there that I act like I've done, just it's really Cedra. There you go. Jordan does a lot, too. He does, but he's yeah. not here to take credit, so we're giving it all to you. <laughs> no, uh, so Cedra will put that in the description below. The phone number should also include AFR.net. That's also a place you can give. And uh, don't forget, too, to tune in next week because while you may have given over the weekend uh, or maybe you already given monthly uh, and you want to increase your gift, but you want to tune in because we're going to have a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. You'll be inspired by the, all the stories and testimonies that you hear of how AFR is influencing and, and changing lives and people are coming to Christ as a result of the ministry of AFR and AFA. So you're going to want to tune in for that. There'll be a lot of good programming. Um, there'll be a lot of excitement with matches, and, and you'll be surprised on how God uh, does some different things next week. Actually, challenges. Challenges. You yeah. correct me, yes. We're, we're careful about the match word because what we do is we challenge people. Right. We've only had a couple of outright You're not matches. the only one that's had to get on to me for that. I've got to, <laughs> I've got to make that change because I was wrong on that, and you're right. Well, brother, it's one of those things that having having to be the guy that has said, hey, let's do it this yes, way. Yes, no, challenges. Um, and, and we do that because we don't want anybody to think that we're – being disingenuous. That's a good point. So, yeah. by the way, the Rolodex hit in my in my head. The Go. mouse got to it, and it's eight seven seven six one six two three nine six. Now, done. you know, by the end of the three days, <laughs> we really will be saying that in our sleep. We, we really will. But it's yeah. been six months since I've had to use that exactly. number. Yeah, yeah. So, what the, we want people to do right now is to take that number, write it down, wait. 
you know, you can wait till share and that number will go active if that's how you would like to give. So just go ahead and write it down right now. Yeah, the only reason I would wait is for that challenge that could be there that right. you may want to be a part of. Otherwise, I'd go ahead and give now. Go to AFR.net or, mm-hmm. um, yep, that's it. Or as you mentioned, you can, if you forget this time next week, but you're really, really going to want to be a part of share this year. And we're so grateful for our listeners. Uh, I know those that are listening are really excited about it. Well, we're going to go from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., and on Tuesday, Bert Harper and I will be in the studio nice. at 6 a.m. for the Talk Network, and then J.J. Great. and John, of course, will be in the studio for the Music Network. Nice. And so we'll be ready to go 6 a.m., you know, just ready to talk about it. And, you know, there's a, there's a lot of things in share that we talk about. And one of those, as we mentioned earlier, is AFA is a platform mm. for other ministries. That's a good point. Those ministries include, and when you look at the diversity of these ministries, yes, you know some of the things that we do and the way we do it, one of the things we do is work with Eight Days of Hope. And Eight Days of Hope with Steve Tiber, they're really good people, and we partner with, with, with them for many years. In mm-hmm. fact, if memory serves... This is going to be. Has it been twenty years? It's it's pretty. It's coming up on it. Yeah, yeah. So, um, all right, fifteen for sure. Yes. So, but any either way, we've been with them, and and because of the the belief that Tim and Brother Don mm-hmm. had back in that in that time, and the investment that Brother Don made into we that the, ministry. Yeah. AFR, uh, as a result of Papa's decision, was a seed money mm-hmm. that started Eight Days of Hope. They were the first person to invest and mm-hmm. say, no, we believe in what you're doing. We, we're conf- we had confident hope. That's right. That, that, that exactly what you're describing, talking to Steve Tiber, your mission, your vision, and we believe that that's what God's called you to do, Amen. and we want to be a part of it. So, And now it's grown all over the, all over the country oh, sure. and so when there's any form of natural disaster or anything like that eight days of hope starts mobilizing they get ready to head there and they have volunteers from all over the country that come in and donate their time and um they spend days helping people build that rebuild their homes and things like that i mean cleaning up and all that and that's a diversity of ministries that we partner with there's some more on your list too there, there are but yeah. one last thing sure. about steve Tiber in Eight Days of Hope is he has mentioned that, you know, on on various times during the disaster relief, Mm -hmm. 80 to 90 percent of the volunteers have come through AFA and AFR. And so folks not only support them by supporting us, they go and physically support them with their time and labor. You know, another one that we just love yeah. And, and and I mean that, is Operation Christmas Child. Amen. And that's yeah. through Samaritan's Purse, you know, the mm-hmm. ministry of Franklin Graham. Mm-hmm. And so we really enjoy them. Uh, we've done Patriot Academy with our friends there uh, through Wall Builders and the Patriot Academy, Rick Green. We also, the past few years, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say that that's very important, the Rick Green Ministry Patriot, Patriot Academy, because, again, back to the diversity of ministries, we try to find people or ministries, if you will, or, or leaders that are doing something in a very specific niche way that we're not. Mm-hmm. Uh, I consider us a pretty broad ministry. I mean, we have a handful of sub ministries or, or, or parent ministries with our sister sister ministries within mm-hmm. AFA and A4. Um, but we're we're uh, but but if you look at these ministries, they are dialed in to a particular cause, and in this case. Uh, Patriot Academy, they are dialed in to getting young adults involved, uh, Christian adult, Christian young adults involved in politics, mm-hmm. and that is, and they are very focused on that. They do a great job with it, and we're so grateful to partner with them. And that just further helps AFA do what we do by working together with them. Over the past couple of years, one of the ministries that we've really come to 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 do more than just. Uh, something, you know, one time a year with mm-hmm. is preborn. Yes, mm-hmm. and that's because preborn, man, they are they, just step in step with AFA absolutely. and what we believe in as part of our missional statement, mm-hmm. and why we do the things we do. Absolutely, well, obviously, preborn is pro life. Yes, and so that's something that's very important to us here at AFA and AFR, and has been for years. Mm-hmm. And so we we do a really good work with them, and they just can't say enough 
nice things about us. These are, and gr- these are all great partnerships. They are. And that's, you know, because we're careful yeah. about Very who careful. we choose. Mm-hmm. Uh, here's one that I think you'll recognize. How about Truth for Youth Bible Week with Revival Fires yes. International? Amen. Mm-hmm. That, and, that just when we when we get when we get close to preparing for that, and then we get to that week that we do that, I just I am just so even that much more reminded of how grateful I am for his ministry not giving up on public schools mm-hmm. and the kids that are in there. Um, but what a wonderful ministry we yeah. get an opportunity. We, we always with. looking for we always look forward to having Tim Todd come in and and speak with us and really push. Uh, getting Bibles, uh, his line, get, getting Bibles into the hands of the young people. That's that's, right. that's the mission. And sometimes it's hard for adults to take Bibles in without, but the students can. Yes. Right. The students can take their Bibles in, and that's what he helps them do. He gets them their Bible in their hand, for, and, the, and the whole idea is for them to be able to pass it off to somebody who may not have one. Right. Mm-hmm. And they can do that during the non- educational hours or non-educational parts of the day mm-hmm. uh, and they're you know those are those come around lunchtime mm-hmm. yeah and he's um, worked real close with I'm not sure exactly the legal firm I want to say ADF but he's worked one of, with one of those Christian legal firms mm-hmm. because I've been on his website and he's got the steps that you what you can legally do right and what you can't and you need to go check it out because it's pretty I, I was pretty amazed of how um, I guess media or or secular or or other um, people that would be hostile to mm-hmm. the Christian faith, how much they make you think that you can't do. Which, yeah. Well, we actually have a lot more freedoms in. The, now it's not as is not as much as we'd like. You know, I understand a lot of it's been stripped away from us, but we do have a lot more freedoms than 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 they make us feel like we got when it comes to our kids Mm -hmm. practicing their faith at school and that's on the back of the bible that's it that's where i saw that student's bill of rights there you go what he calls it that's right and uh those things have been checked out by adf okay uh, adf has said that they would take a case uh to represent the child if if the case was brought and so wow uh, alliance defending freedom is freedom is who adf is yeah um but now one of the things here that i want to mention is that a lot of the folks we talk about have been long-term partners. Mm-hmm. And because of Revival Fire Ministries and the way the Lord has used them with the ministry of AFR, we've given away over a million Bibles wow. in public schools. That's awesome. That's awesome. And, Praise you know, God. when Tim comes, as, as Cedra said a moment ago, Tim comes to Tupelo and he will— it, you know, it's funny because we have Tim Todd, we have Tim, Tim Wildman, Tom. we have, you know, some <laughs> other Tims out there. Tims. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's, so when the two of them are here, we, we, we always call him Tim Todd. Tim Todd. So that yeah. we know that he knows that we're talking to him. Exactly. But um, he's, he's a great guy, too, a great preacher. But nonetheless, uh, we've done over a million Bibles with these folks. And Tim brings a stack of mail-in uh professions of faith yes because in the bible there's a postcard and he always talks about you know this is old school it's not a check mark on a website (laughs) he says the kid has to take it out of the bible they have to fill it out they have to put a stamp on it that's right and then they have to put it in mailbox yep absolutely so and it's exciting to see those yeah absolutely you know and that's one thing that I wanted just to remind us uh, as a reason to give for our share uh, Just a reminder, this share, our, our next share is our spring share mm-hmm. and it's next week, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. That's April 12th. It is April, where'd it go? Hmm. 12th, 12th through the 14th. 14th that's yeah. right, yep. Um, so April 12th to the 14th of next week. That's We just sp- acted like we didn't know when it was so we could say <laughs> it together. Right. <laughs> yes, because yeah. we were in unison right there. That's yeah. right. Uh, it's next week, and we're excited about that. You can go to AFR.net, AFR.net to give. And also you could tune in next week, too, if you wanted to give to try to meet a challenge that we'll have. We have a handful of very, very consistent and uh, wealthy donors that come along that mm-hmm. want to provide a challenge to our audience. And so we'll have those challenges then. Or you can go to AFR.net. Uh, you were mentioning about the testimonies that Tim Todd will bring that <laughs> stack of as a as a witness to the ministry that he's doing there, but we will have our own uh, list of audio testimonies, right? Verbal testimonies of our listeners and how we've impacted them over the years. 
We have, uh, I, I, I get about on average, and you're going to think I'm making this up, but it's in my office. Anybody wants to stop by here, then go look at it. But I get about two to three Please letters. Please call in advance <laughs> if you're going to drop by. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, yeah, yeah. Call in advance, yeah, yeah. Um, but I, I have witnesses. Uh, Cedra, we have meetings in my office for in for Engage uh, once a month or so, and she's seen them. But I have a box. I probably get two or three letters a day. Mm-hmm. And that just comes to me. There's there's a handful of others that are dispersed out throughout the office, depending on what it's for. But I get two or three mostly handwritten letters a day with either A, a testimony of how they got saved listening to AFR, or B, how we have helped them grow in their Christian faith mm-hmm. as a result of AFR. Mm-hmm. And those are exciting. And, it you know, I remember several years ago, uh, now we do Exploring the Word now, and we get testimonies regularly on people having come to Christ through the ministry of Alex McFarlane and Bert Harper. But several years ago, we got a got someone that sent us a listener testimony. Mm-hmm. And folks, a lot of you may remember Phyllis Schlafly. Oh, yeah. Well, we played a three-and-a-half-minute feature called the Phyllis Schlafly Report. And we had – and now, folks, I love Phyllis. She was a, she was a woman of God. She loved God. She loved AFA. Man, she was dry. You know, I'm just <laughs> Oh, yeah. So, but we had someone call in and say, look, I want you to know I came to Christ because of Phyllis Schlafly. Yep. And that reminded me that no matter who it is, right? no matter what it is that's being said, yeah. we as humans never know. Right. What's going? What God's going to use yes. to bring someone Absolutely. back to Himself? Yep. And that's what that's what these combined ministries Amen. that we work with. That's why we do this three days of Sherathon. Yeah. Is so we can continue to provide the platform for yeah. the Holy Spirit. And when I've had the privilege of traveling, and Cedra, I know you probably want to say something, so I'll let you jump in after this. But I've had the privilege of tra- of traveling and meeting several of our supporters, and I've found the same thing that almost all people. Now, and you have. There's some. There's there's obviously tons of people that just love everything we do, mm-hmm. and they lo- they they get all the emails and they follow every. They love every radio host, but most people you find they've got that one or two, mm-hmm. that one or two hosts that they just that they'll make they'll go out of the way to tune in for. So I know that you have done an outstanding job making sure that we have a variety of hosts on a program that have a little bit something different to offer mm-hmm. than the one before. And the way the programs were set up throughout the day between the start of Sandy, today's issues, and the way the program mm-hmm. set out. And then you got exploring the word in the afternoon. You finish it off with Abe and Tony Perkins late in the day. Right. Uh, so our radio program at this point is probably the best it's ever been. It is top notch. And I didn't even mean to do this, but good job for you, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Cedric, can we get that? And I'm going to make it that. into a... A ringtone. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but seriously, I wanted to tell you, you had a lot to do with that, and I wanted to tell you, we got a great pro, we got a great network, and a good, we got good radio host. Well, I'm I'm blessed to be part of a good team. Yeah. Um, I was telling Cedra before the program, we were talking about charathons, mm-hmm. and I think this is going to be about my 45th or 46th. Oh my word! You're kidding me? No. Wow. And so, um, it it's just been a privilege to be part of this ministry yeah. and to see what God has done. I mean, He's just I'm. Just just an old country boy. Sure. You know, I mean, you see me on half, off days like up here. Paul and half the staff up there. Yeah. Yeah. You see me up here in my yeah. overalls and That's stuff. That's right. And yeah. so, uh, but it's one of the things that when we look at the people that make up AFA, mm-hmm. it reminds us of how great God is. Absolutely. Because one of us is able to do this, another's able to do that. Yeah. And, you know, so it's just really been a blessing to be here. Thank you for those kind words. But I have to tell you, yeah. it's all about Christ and Amen. all about the team. Amen. We're a great team, and, and God has been so faithful. When we, we do our part, we pray, we seek his will, we meet, we counsel with each other. We really think through all the aspects that go on about here at AFA. There's tons of thought mm-hmm. process that goes in behind all the things that we mm-hmm. do including our radio. Cedra? And and one thing I'm looking forward to this week is getting to talk to some of the listeners, some of the people who who get the journal, you know, and they call in because they want to donate because they want to continue that and they want to make sure that we're able to do that and we we really appreciate it. But every now and then you get like small just tidbits of their testimony and how we've helped them or how AFA has helped them and that is always, you know, makes – 
makes it worth it. I mm-hmm. mean, you, you, that, it's just a little glimpse into why we why we're doing what we're doing, why we meet every day, while we're in this studio right now recording together. Mm-hmm. And so that's something that I'm really looking forward to is getting to to hear from the people. Well, and I should have mentioned this at the beginning of the program, but I want us to I want the engaged audience, those that are listening to engage to listen to the Share Truth Apply Scripture, which is a radio program of Engage Magazine. Those that are listening right now and who follow us, I want us to kick start our spring share thon with a bang. And I, so when you if you if you give go give online afr.net a lot of, because this is the first program that's going to air talking about share thon, if we get any bump on Saturday that's or right. Sunday, Engage is going <laughs> to claim it. Um, we're going to be proud of it, but also if you if you get a chance to call in uh, this uh, next week, tell them that one of your favorite programs is engaged. You tell them that because <laughs> I, 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 want, I want I want to hear I want to hear a handful of people come to me and say, hey, there's a lot of people listening. Engage, you know that make me feel good. But yeah, take take some time to go uh, to help support what we do. You know I, we all know the story of the widow's mic, a gift of any amount. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, whatever you can do, just ten thousand, ten thousand. Mm-hmm. Hey. Whatever, I, and, I, and I don't say that seriously. because, you know, we have such a diverse audience that we can take and we have people that can donate the, the challenge money. Mm-hmm. We have people that pull together to take the, you know, make up the challenges. So, hey, Wesley, thanks for letting me hang out with you guys this week. Let me give the scripture again. It's yes, found do. in Romans fifteen thirteen. I pray that God, the source of, of, of our hope, will fill you completely with joy and peace because you trust in him. Then you will overflow with confident hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you so much for being in, Jim, and talking about Share Time coming up next week. Amen. All right. Well, you have heard it here for the first time. Next week will be Share Time. We pray, we pray that you'll pray with us. We hope that you'll pray with us as we... Uh, hope that God will continue to provide what he has done for many, many years for the ministry of AFA. Uh, Jordan will be back with us uh, next program, next weekend. And thank you again for tuning in. And as always, continue to share truth and apply scripture.